Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amber and in this video we're going to be talking about my top favorite things I cannot live without. I didn't think it was that hard but it is really hard when you use so many products. I tried to grab a little bit of everything, some drugstore, some more high-end. Starting off with skincare, it's really been working for me right now that we just got out of the summer. I've been using Sunday Riley, their CEO um, collection. So I've been using their Rapid Flash Brightening Serum. I really love this stuff. Um, like I said, it's a little bit more high-end, a little bit more pricey. It's My skin loves it. It's very, very hydrating. I get a lot of blotchiness in this area around my face forehead it's a little bit darker um, so I love this because I feel like it really makes my skin brighten and then I pair it with their protect and repair moisturizer from that same line um, again these two together are like my favorites for eye cream I use the Ola Hendrickson banana bright eye cream it's this little pot here if I open it it's been used it's got some yellow to it so it brightens up the under eye which I love and it feels amazing so those are the skincare products that are working for me right now I'm going to go in in like the order that I usually do my own face so I'm gonna go in with brow products I grabbed two obviously I'm sure everybody knows and everybody uses the Anastasia pencils I use either this one or the brow definer this one's a little bit thinner the brow is is it meant to fill in the full brow it's really just to fill in like any sparse areas that you have if you want something to really fill the entire brow and give more definition then I would go with the brow definer because I have heard people complain about how they only get like maybe a few weeks out of this product and it's because it's not supposed to be used to fill in the full brow you're supposed to use this with a different product um, that way you don't go through it so quickly which brings me on to the makeup revolution pencil I got this um, at Ulta super cheap I honestly I don't remember the price but it's probably like three or four bucks I'll make sure to list it in the um, description below this is more it's a little bit thicker as you can see, it's a little bit thicker than the actual Brow Wiz. It is super, super, super creamy. So it can get very dark very quickly. So what I tend to do is I'll use this one for the outside of my brows. And then I'll use the Brow Wiz just to kind of fill in where I want it to be a little bit more natural on the inside of the brow. I typically do my concealer after my foundation, but I do use it to clean up underneath the brow. So I grabbed two of my favorites. One is high-end, one is drugstore. The high-end one is my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. It is full coverage. I love it to clean up under the brow if like I need my brows need to be waxed or anything like that. I use the color Macadamia. For any drugstore concealers, if I want to pick something up really quick or if I'm doing a wedding and I need more colors, I usually use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This one's obviously a lot more cheaper. This is probably like 9 bucks. The NARS one is about $30. Um, but they both, I feel like, work very well. The foundations are really hard for me because I love a little bit of everything. But I picked up my top three favorites. So starting off with my luxury, we'll say, foundation is the Lancome. It's their Tint Idol Ultra Wear Foundation. I use the color 415. This is like my holy, holy grail. I never have any issues with it. No problems with it oxidizing. I will say it's about $47. But if there's one thing that I would invest in, is my foundation. Well, it's 24 hour wear. It has SPF 15, but it does not give flashback. So it is perfect for photo shoots, everyday wear. It's very, very buildable. So even for someone who wants light coverage, I've still used this to give that like airbrushed look. Moving on to a more middle range foundation. This one I believe is 39. This is the Born This Way Too Faced foundation. Again, I love it. It's a soft matte finish, definitely buildable. It's another one of my favorites and I use the color sand. And then moving on to a drugstore foundation. Again, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me. I use a lot of these in my kit. I feel like it does give a flawless finish. I use the matte and poreless foundation because even normal skins to oily skins can use this. I feel like I use it a lot for my weddings and I get no flashback. So of course, I'm sure you've all heard of it, the Laura Mercier. I have the Becca powders, I have the Hourglass powders, I have, 
I've used every powder that you can think of, honestly, when it comes to high-end powders. Nothing compares to the Laura one. This one just does not give me flashback. I am dry, but I try to I use it very, very lightly. Another product that I have to take with me anywhere I go is my contour kit by Anastasia. I use the Tanta Deep Color, which I've used on honestly fair skin. I've used it on medium skin. I used it on deeper skin tones. I love this contour kit. Clearly, as you can see, mine is beat up. These shades here, I've used every single one of them. The lighter shade I still kind of use as like an eyeshadow. I haven't, I've never really used it to set my under eye. I feel like they're a little too chalky for that. Um, this shade here I use for my blush. I love, love like a soft orangey color. My skin is very yellow, so this works perfectly. I use these two shades here um, to contour the, the sides of my nose. I use them as eyeshadow as well as these shades. This color here, which is the darkest brown color, I use that to really contour and chisel the cheekbone. But again, this I feel like is amazing for everybody and anybody. You can use it to contour, you can use it as eyeshadow, um, you can use it for your brows, you can literally use it for everything. I won't go anywhere without this. It is totally worth it. Even if you don't freelance, I feel like you can use this for everything. So for my more high-end lipsticks, I picked the Sephora Collection Lip Liner To Go. This is in the color Light Brown. To be honest, for high-end, these are really good priced and they work very well. They are kind of small, but I mean, they're great to put in your purse. These are only six bucks. So I have like seven different colors of them. I use them all the time. Um, the nude shades are amazing. So there's that swatch of that one. And then I usually top it off with a lip gloss. Something that's very pigmented. The gloss that I love using is the Anastasia lip gloss in the color Naked. And what I'll do is I'll just kind of place that on top of the lip liner so my face doesn't look washed out. For the drugstore lip liners, these are a little bit more on the pinker side. I have the NYX lip liner in the color Natural. And I'll show you guys that swatch. So that's the NYX one here. And then for the lip gloss, I'm using the NYX Lingerie Lip Gloss in Shy. And I'll show you guys that. I feel like it's a little bit more pinky than the Anastasia one. So Anastasia, as you can see, is a little bit more orangey. And then the NYX one is a little bit pinker. I use just a tiny bit, but they're both very, very pigmented. So I use just a tiny bit of them. In the center of the lip. So moving on to my two favorite setting sprays, I use the Cover FX Illuminating Spray. It does spray on a little bit of like a shimmer, so you do want to spray from afar so you don't have all these little glitter dots everywhere. But if I want something very illuminating, this is like my go-to. Um, and then if I want something a little bit more dewy, I use the Tatcha Luminous Skin Mist. This is a little bit more on the expensive side, but this is one of my favorite setting sprays. And that's it guys, those are my top 10 products must have. I did do a get ready with me with the look that I'm wearing today, so stay tuned for that video. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe